somehow, some way, we've made it to yet another day. Welcome everyone to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are back with the Builder Challenge. Sadly, the power is out, so things are kind of dingy and dark in here. But today is going to be the day we're going to be taking a lot of cool furniture from this place and relocating it to our awesomer base. Yeah, I said it. Awesomer. It's a word now. Fight me. I'd love to see you try and we got to live life on the edge. Get over here, you bastard. Honestly, it's really dark in here. But uh, yeah, things should be pretty darn clear. I guess it's just dark everywhere. And it is 52 degrees. Oh, God. We might actually have to deal with the winter in Project Zomboid. I'm, I'm not prepared for that. And so I'm not going to think about it. The only thing I want to think of is how nice all this stuff would look and all this bleach as well give me that mop and give me that bleach finally we got ourselves a mop because now what we can do is if we grab this bleach here we can actually clean up some dirt on the floor uh-huh uh-huh watch as all of the ickiness goes away just a little bit of brooming and bada boom it looks brand new and we're gonna be able to do that with some of the tiles we pick up later so all this bleach is gonna be needed and i wouldn't dare dump it out anywhere so how about we go equip our uh, seat bag, we go throughout this place, loot everything that looks cool, and then we'll begin with the actual furniture. So get in there. But boom, we got ourselves 10 whole bottles of bleach. Don't drink it, but other than that, it's going to be perfect. We're going to be uh, moving this over to the glove box, I feel. There's going to be a lot that we're going to need to pick up here, and especially these doors here. These are like the closest to a glass door that you can actually get right now. So, I'm gonna take it right now. Why the hell not? Let's go unlock this door here and let's take it off the hinges. Yeah, bada boom. Uh, it doesn't allow us to actually take it off the hinges. Maybe if I drop an item right now? Huh, I guess that one doesn't work. What about this one? Nope, okay. Looks like something bugged out here. Okay, what about this glass sliding door here? Let's unlock it and let's see if we can take it. I would really like this at my own base, but I don't think we can take these. Oh, maybe we can. Damn it, no! Okay, we're gonna leave it there. That, that sucks, eggs. Well, we can at the very least build the door, so it's not that much of a problem, but it still kind of sucks. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna be back on the grind then. <laughs> I was really hoping we would have been able to get one of those. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's not take away from what we need to do today. That's dropping off all this good loot in this trunk over here. So let's dump off all this bleach in here, and that should take up all the space in the trunk. Yeah, okay, so we can't use this anymore. And now let's go uh, begin to take some of the floor tiles out as well. I, I really want a lot of those. And I'm also kind of hungry right now, so, you know, killing two birds with one stone. Oh, yeah, let's see what kind of goods they got cooking in here. Salami and egg carton. Ooh, 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 the ham is still good. That's what you love to see. We'll eat, we'll eat the entire thing, actually. We still are very underweight, so eating as much as that as possible is probably going to help us out. Though it does seem like most of the food here is gonna start to rot away. Can we also take an oven right now? No, we need a lot of electrical skill for that. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's fine. I will be taking this really freaking cool espresso deluxe machine, though. Yeah, that's going right into scoop. No doubt about that. And now let's go help ourselves to a bunch of these black tiles here. This is one of the only spots you can actually get these. The only other spot I can think of is that kitchen area inside our place. And there is also a diner near Moldro, but other than that, there's not a lot of spots to get these. And these black and white tiles are very freaking aesthetic. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I'll take your entire stock. Okay, uh, we took as many as possible. Each one of these weighs like three, so we got around like 20 some tiles here. It should be good enough for now. Yeah, we got around 21. God, I really wish we had a trailer right now. You do not know how nice that would be for me. But we're vibing pretty hard right now. Let's go drop off um, our entire seat bag inside there. And then I'm thinking we're going to be taking a couple of uh, little bar stuff as well. So get in there. And then we're going to drop off the remaining black tiles inside the other seat here. Bada boom. Looking good. Okay. Last but not least, I'm actually going to go take the flooring from this spot here. Because I really, really enjoyed this uh, chestnut flooring. And I also want this Bordeaux rug. Oh, hello there, sir. Wow, where'd you stumble yourself into, huh? They always find their way over in the most weird spots. Let's continue taking uh, this rug here and as much chestnut flooring as possible. We're going to be doing multiple trips back and forth, so this is going to be a pretty big task. Next up, I'm probably going to want to grab some of the carpets in the upstairs area, the mini fridge, and some more bar counters as well. Just as much as possible right now. 
don't even know, man. Bop, 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 bop. I also see this nice little uh, plant here I'll take. And last but not least, before we get over encumbered with the stuff, I will be taking ourselves a water dispenser so we don't have to worry about it in the future. So get on here and we're gonna have to equip it as a primary in order to actually take it with us. There we go. Gosh, it is actually so damn hard to uh, manage this inventory right now. <laughs> Even with organized, it is so hard to like pack rat everything together. But somehow we were able to make it work. Oh man, it is, it is very, very, very uh, hard to actually get right. So we got ourselves a full truck. So we got ourselves a full car here. We're not gonna be able to carry too much. I think it's about time we head on back now, drop off everything we have, and then come immediately back because we still got a lot to go through. We're gonna pick this place clean, buddy. I'll be back for some more of your trinkets, you richies. Ooh, I almost forgot one more thing. Oh, how could I even forget? I gotta go grab that lawnmower for later. Come on, how could I forget about it? You know what? No, we should probably get that next time. I'm seeing the amount of zombies coming in here right now, and we are over encumbered. It's not worth it. I don't want to die like this. Well, I guess I'll see y'all back at base as soon as I drop off all this good flooring. So we meet again. Now, I don't want to give up on you just yet, Trucky. I want to try something, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try and back up into this bad boy, tow it, and see if we can get it off its feet, okay? If we can do that, we can get our favorite truck back. Hopefully, let's... I don't know if we're gonna actually gonna be able to do this one. But god dang it, I gotta try, man. This is... This is my... This is my truck. Okay, there we go. We can attach it. There we go. Come on, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, buddy, we got it back. <laughs> That's what a little bit of ingenuity can get you right there. And guess what? We're not done there. I'm gonna commandeer my truck back. Start this bad boy up. And because this has a higher horsepower, what we can do is turn around here. Back this bad boy up like that. Right. And boom, we got ourselves a makeshift trailer should this be fast enough. Ain't that smart. I mean, if we can't find a trailer, just make your own, right? Boom. Let's see how fast this bad boy is. We're still gonna be going back though because we still need to drop off everything and go to sleep. Okay, you know what? This is manageable, dude. I mean, sure, we're not busting any speed record, but we don't need to. We just need as much carry capacity as possible. And with this, tr with, with this car at our side, we've effectively just doubled our carry capacity. Yeah, 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 I'm liking this. So I think going off-road is going to be the end of me, so we can't be doing that much anymore. <laughs> and the funniest thing of all, we're still going faster than we would have if we would have taken freaking Sunday Driver. I find that hilarious, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're moving, man. Oh, this is beautiful. And here we are. We're back at base camp. And so what I'm going to do now is go grab a bunch of these chestnut west floors and start to place them downwards. We need to get rid of a lot of junk here. More importantly, this water dispenser here. So how about we leave the water dispenser in our nice little corner right here, just so we can get it whenever we need to. Boom. And of course, we're going to be leaving our plants and stuff here while we find a nice spot for them. Including you, Espresso Deluxe. You beautiful, beautiful thing here. Oh, look at that fine craftsmanship. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We go inside this living room here, and we start to replace it with some of this really nice chestnut west flooring. You know, really get the vibes rolling in this bad boy. Oh, I love it already. This is gonna look great. And the best thing is, is that after we can take out our mop and we can clean up a lot of this dirty flooring. And matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. So let's hop in, grab our large backpack to use for later. For now, let's also place down our rug. I think we're gonna be going for a nice rug down this way here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Ooh, that's a nice rug, and it fits pretty damn well. And now let's see if we can go grab our seat bag and drop off our cleaning supplies. We're gonna be keeping a bottle of bleach on us right now, and then we're gonna be cleaning up the rest of these. Oh, actually, this is all black tiles, huh? I forgot, the bleach was actually in the trunk. Ah, here we go. Let's grab one of these bad boys. We're gonna be grabbing them all, but for now, I just want to clean up some of the tiles on this place. Here we go. And now we can clean this up and make the tiles look a heck of a lot better. You know, it's small stuff like this that really brings the room. God, I am brooming hard, but just gotta make sure those black tiles are as spick and span as possible. And now that that's done, we're actually gonna be leaving our nice little bleach hoard 
inside the garage here, right? And this one's here. We'll be coming back to using the mop at a later date. For now, let's uh, drop off some more of these floors. More importantly, the 11 we got in here. We got one more to go for, and I'm not sure if I want to do the uh, the front area with the black and white tiles as well, because I think that would look pretty damn good as well. I mean, we have a lot of room for it, and at least like the first three inside here, and then we can switch to like a carpet, and then or right, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it in the future. All right, we still have a lot here. We only have two tiles left, so uh, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll do something. Let's just drop them off in here for now. Lastly, we can drop off the rest of the uh, the floorboards we have. We can go to sleep, and then we'll go back right in the morning. Taking as much as possible. Also, I took seat bag number two so we can double our carry capacity as well. We're gonna be able to fill this bad boy up. We got the back of the truck here. That's 128 plus another 70. It's gonna be insane. Okay, nice. We're gonna need a lot more of this flooring, but it's looking pretty damn good. You know, we're getting the floorings done. I think the first story is starting to really come together now. Okay, it's uh, 930. We're gonna go drive on back and we're gonna go, uh, you know, take a bit of a break. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Hello. I've seen you. And it is morning. And, uh, I forgot to drop off some stuff, so we're probably gonna go head back really quick. But before we do, I really want to move out of this place completely. There's really no reason for us to stay here other than a few bits of furniture. So before we head back to the country club, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this place into a place you would not recognize in a little bit here. I think we're gonna move in. So we're gonna be taking this bed here, mostly because it's the only bed. And uh, we can start to sleep in our construction project, mostly because it's actually at the point to where we can't do that now. So this is a pretty big day for all of us, I feel. And so we're gonna be taking all of the carpets and especially these windows here. Those are gonna look great. Now, I'm not gonna be liking this fancy bed right now. I will be want- Now, I'm not gonna be using this fancy bed forever right now as I would like to uh, move over. Actually, that's a good idea. How about we just take one from the neighbors? Yeah, I don't, I don't want a single bunk bed. I want a freaking queen sizer. So let's go pay a visit to one of these run down homes real quick to see if we can find one of the bad boys. Come on, I know y'all are hiding on me. Where are those nice looking beds that I've been hearing about? We'll find one in the future. For now, I want to take all the carpets as well to uh, start to furnish in one of the uh, rooms. And especially these windows. These windows are going to look fantastic, mostly because they have a white out frame. So these are going to look great. We're going to be taking every single one of those and we're going to be dropping them inside of our new base here. Yeah. Each one of these weighs like 10 pounds each. So we're going to be grabbing every single one out of here and dumping them off inside this truck here. Oh, I broke that window. That's fine. We don't need it. It's a 50% chance, so I'd say that's a pretty good uh, risk. We can find more in the future, you know? At least these uh, drawers look nice. And last but not least, let's go take all the carpets. We're probably going to be back here multiple times, just because there's so much good stuff in here. But I do like the look of this dark red carpet. I think it's going to look great in one of our rooms, so we're going to be taking everything here. Gosh, I gotta say, whoever lived at this place before really loves their dark red carpet. They, 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 they filled the entire place with this stuff. Holy crap. I mean, I'm not complaining because it is a very nice carpet, but damn, they even got it in their bedroom. The only place they didn't have it was the kitchen. But there we go. We got around 35 dark red carpets to work with. Let's go drop them off, and I think we're done here for now. The only problem with trailers is that it's really hard to turn around on very narrow streets, but we're figuring it out. We're going to become a pro at this, just like we're a pro with building already. Also, before we go any further, I need to go grab my food and maybe that fridge as well. It'd feel redundant to uh, have to come back here just for food, so let's grab everything here. Drop it off in my bag. Also help ourselves to some peanut butter and some cereal right now because I am freaking starving. There we go. And now we can take the fridge. It's This is just going to be a placeholder for now. We'll, we'll get a better one in the future, okay? You can trust me on that. There we go. We can just barely fit it in our um, inventory. And we're off. Time to dump all these goodies off and make it look nice. Starting with the fridge because this thing weighs a whopping 40. Whew, man, it's a lot of work lugging this dang thing around. But there we go. Let's drop off all of our stuff inside here now. And floor out one of these bedrooms. Ooh, another idea I have is we can start to begin uh, placing a nice little like floor mat out in the front as well. It's always good to have a nice little, you know, welcome mat as you come on in. So how about we place it there and place it there and check that out. Sure, there's not a door there, but there will be one of these times. And I also need to pave this out. 
gosh, there's so much to do here. Anyways, let's go grab these five windows here and begin to uh, place them inside our place. Especially on these outdoor ones here. Boom, 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 boom. We actually only had four, so that, that's a full set of windows as well. God damn. All right, let's go grab our carpets now. As I think we're gonna go stay inside this room here for now. So let's fill this bad boy out. Okay, these two actually look kind of poopy. So I don't think we can fix that as well. I don't really want those. Let's, uh, let's transition those ones out. Those look really dang gross. Oh, actually, I see what the problem is. It's the floors here. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that pretty easily with some of these leftover planks here. All we gotta do is just build right over it so we don't have those problems anymore. Check that out. It actually works. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. That gives us 16 more dark carpet to work for. Maybe I should place it inside this uh, initial awning here. How would that look? You know what? It works for now. Yeah, we can always replace it later. The carpet don't weigh that much and, you know, trying to floor as much of this place down as possible is going to be nice. And we can get some more of this probably at a later date. Yeah, I must say things are looking pretty nice and it's only going to continue in the future. Lastly, what we got to do is uh, drop off a couple of small pieces of furniture in here and then bring out this massive bleach pile and this bar counter that we've gotten. Yeah, that's going to take up quite a bit. And as always, the stuff that we can break very easily, I'm going to be leaving inside crates so we don't risk it. That includes the bar wall and the small table with a drawer. We'll leave the uh, paintings and mirror on this uh, wall here, though. They'll find their time very soon. Just not right now. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. That should be most of it. We'll drop off the bleach. And then I want to grab one bed. There should be a pretty massive bed in our neighbor's house over here. Oh, yeah. There should be a bed in this place. And even if it is just a crappy mattress, on the floor we might just have to roll the punches here but come on oh no we got mattresses ah dang it you know what it's better than sleeping at our place right now we'll, we'll take the pretty good one i won't become one of them uh i don't know chief between leaving inside this rundown crap shoot to uh being a zombie i i know which one i'd want to choose that's for sure let's grab the we'll grab the stretcher bed for now it'll work at least it feels really damn nice knowing that, like, it's kind of livable to the point that we can, you know, be inside it. You know, if it works, it works right now, and I can't think of any other spot to sleep. So I'm going to see y'all in the morning. We're going to drive back to the country club, and I will continue to grab some more stuff. And you know what? We might as well go clean up all the flooring here right now. Let's go grab our mop and our bleach, and we shall begin with that. It's better to just stay proactive now than uh, slack at later. And it looks nice. What can I say? I'm a big fan of cleaning up these floors. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, there we go. It definitely looks a lot cleaner and we might as well do it right now, even though there's probably gonna get... There we go. That looks a heck of a lot better and we've cleaned up every single tile here. And I think that's gonna be it for now. Any small tiles that I need to clean up this way? Nope, looking good. Okay, let's drop off all the bleach here. We're gonna be, we're gonna be needing it for later, so... Oh, wait, we actually ran out of bleach here. Let's go grab another. Gosh, we're gonna be going through this like hotcakes, huh? Well, at the very least, I think we've cleaned this place out fully. And we got a couple of small stains here as well, which we can pick up. Especially the one inside this room here. It's been glaring at me for the longest time. I don't know how I can take these stains out, but it must be with the power of OxyClean. Keep some tough stains out. Okay, now that that's it, we're actually gonna go to sleep. I'll be come back to the country club, and we're gonna start to take a lot of the flower beds there. I just want to make sure that this is all clear because this is going to be probably our final trip up there. So I want to make sure that we are working with as much capacity as possible in this bad boy. Damn. I gotta say, it feels really nice to sleep in your own home. This, this home built home. I know it don't got any doors and it'd be very easy for someone to break in. But god dang it, if it isn't mine. <laughs> Alright, let's go hop in our truck. Make our way back to the country club, and then we are probably going to end the episode. I think next episode, what we're going to do is finish up the flooring, and I also want to pave out the full driveway and uh, line the outings with some very, very nice uh, flowers. Right? I want this entire driveway to be lined with them bad boys. The bright, vibrant, beautiful things they are. And maybe we can finish up another room next episode as well. For now, though, our goal is to just get back to that beautiful place. And since we have a weight on our truck now, it's going to be a little bit harder to flip, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried at all anymore. We can take those corners easy now. And we can still bump this bad boy up to 60 miles an hour. God damn. 
Oh no! Oh Jesus! Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we don't go 60. <laughs> Maybe we don't. I almost just joined that lady over there. Holy crap, that would- I can't be doing this to myself, man. But, uh, hey. We made it back over without any other complications, which is something I can be pretty proud about. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end it off inside here. Next episode, I'm definitely gonna be working on that garden, whether I use, uh, twigs or not. And we're gonna be making the driveway look fantastic. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more, and I hope to see y'all next time on Builder Bobby's massive, massive journey. Peace out, everyone.